Hello everybody, here we are with another Swift 3D version 6 tutorial. And I just wanted to point out for, because maybe some people might have questions, say, why is Adam so gung-ho on Swift 3D? I'll show you one reason. Right here is AdamCorey.com, and this whole site was pretty much designed, the whole thing was designed in Swift 3D. All these animations. And what's so cool about Swift 3D is that it allows you to put your custom animations inside of Flash and then you can have people control those things you see it's very very cool and even though I know I need to update this site but I built it in just a couple of hours in Swift 3D and I was able to get a really cool effects out of it and a really nice design now in this one we're gonna be dealing with some text because text is one of the coolest features I think in Swift 3D for making logos and doing a lot of cool things that your clients will really dig. Now the first thing you'll want to know is how to make your text look good. I'll show you some little tips and tricks for things you can do to your text that not many people pick up on right away when they open Swift 3D because it takes some experimentation. So let's click the text and you'll see it throws the word text into the view pane there. I'm going to change that to say fresh. Then I'm going to change the font any font you have in your list will show up here most any fonts will show up here I'm gonna go to where's that jungle life I like that one right there okay so now I'm gonna press alt and the right mouse key push back a little bit and now you can see it looks kinda of beat up like that so you really want to doctor it up a little bit so we'll go to bevels and let's put an outer round bevel on it take that 0 0.05 and make it 0 0.02 there we go see that cleans it up just a little bit get the smoothness all the way up and the mesh quality all the way up now if you take some materials say we took a reflective color any color green we put it on the face there you'll see it puts it on the back and the front so if we look at it from the back now it's green on the back and it's just darker over here because there's no lights hitting it back there it's green same color green is on the back and the front now we can take a different color or maybe a lighter green and put it on the bevel itself and then you can put another color on the edge so if you look at it from the left again you'll see that edge has a green on it too now but if you wanted to you'll you notice that when I drag materials onto the whole word or when I drag the material onto any letter the whole word color changes if you wanted to have each letter be its own individual thing if you tried to go up here to arrange and ungroup it you can't because it's really just one thing but if you go here to the text to characters tool you click that then you have your individual characters where you can then put different colors on different letters you see there and change it up any way you need to alright so let's say I take that let's get some purple on the inside too okay so say I take that and now I want to animate each piece I can simply go up to arrange ungroup and now I can spin the whole thing around or I can choose to and and let me mention real quick that when you export these things the background isn't there that gray background isn't there so if I took this into Photoshop or fireworks or flash it's just gonna be the model itself the pieces that make up the model and no background so you can put glow effects on them in those various programs and then do things further in those programs uh, so let's take these and animate them let's go to animations and let's make them just rock back and forth let's go down here to this one give that one that one and that one now for the others I'm gonna put a totally different animation on them that would be the S and the R. 
So actually, let me get those colored differently. There. Let's animate. Click the frame rate up to maybe 17 or 18. And let's turn the animation off. Actually, let's press Control A and rotate everything. Now let's go to preview and export. Generate all frames. So see there? You can achieve some really cool things in a really short amount of time. And there's a whole lot more you can do with text. And here's one last little thing I'll show you about the text. If I highlight any of these and I want to edit those in the extrusion editor or the you can always edit them in the advanced modeler but I'm gonna go into the extrusion editor let's see if I highlight that one go to extrusion editor it doesn't show up so if I want to edit that with the extrusion editor to make an animation on the points and everything make it kind of bulge or do whatever I wanted to do I can go to right here text to paths so if I click that with that letter highlighted or you can do it with the whole word if the whole word is connected or you can do them individually piece by piece and go to the extrusion editor and you see there's that F Let's move this out the way so if I go to animate right now it's going to animate just this so I can go out to maybe frame I don't know, maybe frame 10. I'm going to take this dot and I'm going to move it. Just that dot. One pixel up. Then I'm going to go out to frame 20 and move just that dot one pixel back down. I'm going to go back to the middle frame there on 10. And I'm going to bring this all the way up so it kind of bulges. Let's make this go out here this go way out here make this go down a little bit let's make this go over here okay now let's press animate again go back into the scene editor you'll see you have something different going on with that one you see how the F is bulging all by itself so even if those other animations weren't on it you could make that bulge happen now think how cool it would be if you tie this word to a sound amplitude mp3 player in flash because all of this can go straight into flash as a movie clip and you tie your amplitude to the word and as the beat pumps your word goes boom 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 to the beat of the music come on this is why this is handy maybe not many people just have the vision to come up with these things but you got to if you want to you want to do good make money you want to be some of the best designers making the best programmatic things so now let's go into the preview and exporter actually let's tilt that in there control A let's tilt it this way this time so we can see that F real good doing its thing let's move the scene right there let's go to preview and export raster generate all frames and now when we press play you'll notice you see what the F is doing it's kinda of pulsating like the other ones aren't because I gave it a custom extrusion animation so those are some things dealing with the text that not many beginners pick up on right away and it takes you a little bit of experimentation and maybe some reading if you have the manual or whatever. Okay, we'll see you in the next lesson.